Welcome to our video devotional today. It is Tuesday, March the 7th, 2017, and we are discussing experiencing the peace of God. We have tried to clarify that to experience peace in our lives, we must trust God when he tells us in relationship with Jesus, we experience peace. We use John 14, 27 as kind of the guideline of that last uh, yesterday. And today we're using Romans 8, 38 and 39. Listen to these words. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wow, those are powerful verses. We need to hide that word in our heart so that God will strengthen us through it. The author of Romans is instructing us that circumstances do not separate us from God's love. Since God's love represents his strong desire to have relationship with us, I can de defend the premise that his love and his peace are inseparable. His character is whole. God has never been disjointed, and his attributes are all in unity. When I am assured of God's love for me, then I will experience his peace. Now, I think the key would be here, why would one question God's love for them? Why would I personally question God's love for me? Well, I think the first and foremost answer is because there's sin in my life. I've disobeyed God, what he instructed me either to do or not to do. Those who are maturing in their faith understand that the correction for sin is found in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If I confess my sin, he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. As soon as I've discovered I've sinned, my first response is to confess it to God, not hide it, not try to run from God, not get angry with God, say, well, now you're, you're picking on me and, oh, you're just being legalistic with me, God. No, no. When I recognize I've sinned, first thing I must do is confess to God that I agree with him. I have done wrong. I have sinned against him. And as soon as I confess that sin, I will experience the restoration of the peace of God in my life. See, the blood of Jesus Christ satisfies God's justice for any of our wrongdoing. So the first reason that I often feel like or experience a lack of peace in my life or a lack of God's love is because I've sinned. The second reason so many question God's love for them and feel loss of peace is because of the attack of the enemy against them. Look again at Romans 8 and verses 38 and 39. It says here, nothing is able, nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The only thing I see can separate us is our sin. So when things seem to press against us, we lose our job. A loved one dies. We're attacked in our physical health. These things do not determine whether or not I'm abiding in the love of God or the peace of God. I want you to hear this. Just because my circumstances are, are lousy, are hurtful, or they seem to be tearing and wearing me down. That's not a sign I'm outside of the love or peace of God. Circumstances are often out of our control. I can't do anything about some things in life. Many times I didn't have anything to do with creating the circumstance other than just being alive and walking through my life in a normal day. So I want you to hear this because in Ephesians we're taught you have been made to sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. <laughs> Think about that. He puts you above and not beneath. The circumstances, though seemingly insurmountable, are just that. They're circumstances. They will pass, and you will live forever. Trust what God says. 
Nothing can separate you from his love or his peace. You are sheltered safe in the arms of God. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the reminder today. Nothing can separate us from your love. And since your attributes are inseparable, nor from your peace. We praise you for that. Now let the peace of God just position us in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I pray for those that are in dire circumstance today, that their trust will not be in their bank account, their job, their church, but in the living God. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. God is watching over you. You are sheltered safe within his arms. Have peace.